Hello viewers and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Catacomb. Uh, we are back where we left off, which is the crossroads. So we will uh, just head to the next level numerically first of all. I think we will go to the 11th hour. Level 11. That will give us a chance to pick up some potions. 11 hours for each a tomb to find the 12th may mean your doom. It's an ominous foreboding prophecy to the, the potential of level 12 there. Um, the Tomb of Nemesis is empty. Nemesis, incidentally, is the main the main antagonist in the this Catacomb series and he mostly shows up from uh, Catacomb 3D onwards. Um, we'll be seeing more of him in the, the later Catacomb games. Um, the way to the twelfth tomb is guarded by the sisters. Heaven knows where it is hidden. Heaven knows. So, that'll be Heaven 17. Um, was it 17? I can't remember. But the Heaven level that's in the crossroads. We'll need to go there for a clue as to what to do. There's more of these tombs scattered around. Is there anything wonderful hidden within? Possibly not. Do, 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 do. Oop. Came out from the wrong side. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, the Tomb of Andrew. Tomb of D. Uh, nothing particularly useful in any of these places. Yes, and ten steps to the crossroads. This will take us back to the crossroads, which is quite handy because it means this this level is fairly simple, nothing too complicated here. We can go back in here, pick up these, and go back out. This will give us a good supply of health potions. A very good supply of health potions, and it's very, very quick to do. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten health potions here each time, and we can just run right back out. So, it's a good way to stock up on some health potions. Unfortunately, it doesn't get us any scrolls in this level, but the supply of health potions is good. So, we want to do this maybe four or five times at least. That would get us a good 50 odd health potions. You could do this as many times as you really want. I mean, you could give yourself practically an infinite supply of health potions uh, for the later parts of the game. And trust me, you will want to do this. It's very, very easy to run out of health potions um, a little bit further into the game. Um, and you do not want that to happen. Because you will just die. There's The later levels of this game are pretty much impossible unless you've got a good supply of health potions. You can... You also really want a good supply of scrolls uh, for both nukes and bolts. You can th theoretically get by without those if you've got enough health potions to stop yourself from dying, but the, the nukes and bolts will make things much, much easier in the in the later section. So that should probably be enough health potions for just now. Uh, let's take this uh, back to the crossroads, and we will go to heaven. So it advised us that heaven has some sort of a clue um, as to where we're, we're headed next. So we'll enter heaven and save the game. Welcome to heaven. No vacancy. And I believe these, these little balls are meant to represent clouds. There's a cloud here which says Kevin Cloud. Kevin Cloud was a soft disk employee who actually later went on to work with id Software, although he wasn't a founding member. Um, but he is, uh, as far as I know, still at the company. Um, we have some rather dragony looking things here. Heaven is a little bit uh, less pleasant than we might have expected. It's filled with horrible dragons. Now, I'm going to just try and shoot these guys with their normal uh, charge shot. It takes quite a few hits to kill them, but it is a 
better idea than wasting bolts on these guys if you can avoid it. Bolts will take them out in one or two, uh, one or two hits, but it does use up the bolts, uh, which we really don't want to be using them up at this point. We want to save our bolts for emergencies and the later levels. Wow, this guy is taking a beating. Die already. There we go. Right, that was not the last one that we'll see. Um, go! Wow. Right, there's rather a, rather a lot of these guys. So this is another example of the the boss enemies from the previous game just showing up everywhere. Uh, these guys will become more and more common throughout the throughout the game, and they're tough. They are very difficult to kill with normal shots. Um, if this was a more open place, I would probably be using bolts. But the fact that we can hide in this little bit and they don't really get to hit you means we can come down here and we've got a fairly relatively safe place to shoot them from as long as he doesn't actually shoot right in the corridor. Which he did a couple of times there, but they don't always do it, so you're relatively safe in this section. Does, however, take quite a bit to kill these guys who do not want to take multiple fireball hits. to kill these guys. There's another dude over here. Whoa! It's been a little bit patient here. Um, we could just go rampaging out into the they open, but it will leave us very vulnerable. And we definitely do not want to get ourselves surrounded by dragons. Silver lining. It's actually, I said, more of a gold lining. But no, I meant. So somewhere in this level there should be a clue as to how to progress. There's another one of these guys. Yeah, we don't really want to be out in the open here. Oh, jeez. Right, that took care of him. Yep, there's another one. Here and we can quite easily take him out from this area. Cool. That's that. Now, is there any more dragons? That is the question. Yes, there is. There's another one up here. stuck in that top bit, which means he'll be able to shoot us a bit more often. Uh, it also means we'll be able to hit him more often, so that's okay. Silver lining was the one with the chests. The sweetest secret is not mistaken. After the 19th way has been taken. And cloud number 9 has a key and a bunch of potions and stuff. 
That's good. So we can probably get out of here now. So our clue is up there. The 19th way. The meaning of that will become apparent shortly. Eat at McDragon's. One million goblins can't be wrong. And we're back to level 10. So, there's a couple of other places that we can visit from here. One of them is Sweet 16. So, revenge is sweet and it doesn't rot your teeth. Okay, this is a, another level that's quite good for stocking up in supplies. Um, whoa, as long as you don't die by these guys. Fortunately, as we go through the game, the uh, the skeleton enemies become less frequent. They are quite annoying. Unfortunately, they tend to get replaced with the ninjas, which are even freaking worse. Uh, so, yeah, a bit of a mixed blessing there. Now, I feel like there's something else here. There it is. All of these messages are lies. And there we go, we have a nice bunch of scrolls. So again, the this portal will just take us back to level 10, but this is another good level to stock up. This time we'll stock it up on scrolls for the for the last kind of part of the game, I suppose. Um You're gonna wanna get a whole bunch of every kind of scroll. Unfortunately, it's not really possible to tell what type of scroll you're picking up. But we just want to pick up lots and make sure we've got plenty of bolts and plenty of nukes. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear, and again they've used the the one zero as part of the the caution. There, it's quite creative. Cool. So. I'm just going to do this a couple more times, um, just want to make sure that we do have a plentiful supply of scrolls, um, and then we'll begin moving on. So ideally we want to get through here without taking too much damage so we're not using tons of potions on the way. But these skeletons are quite annoying, they tend to, to cause some damage. And we don't want to die, particularly. That would be counterproductive. Okay. When you have found the way, go up to the altar and pray. Wonder if that is some sort of meaning for later in the, the game. Right, I'm gonna do this level one more time. Let's grab those scrolls and stuff again. You'll find out soon enough why we're doing this. Um, 
the later stages of the game get pretty silly. That's probably quite a lot we've picked up there now, so we will head back to the crossroads and this time we will go to the other level, the only level that we've not been to from here yet, which is in the coven. So, we start off in a strange star thing. And we're just going to have to shoot our way through. So the secret blocks are kind of all over the place here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of work your way out. Oh, that almost got me. potions in there. Uh, there's also the casting range, which is fairly, I mean you don't even have to pay any attention to this bit at all, but we can just kill these guys. Uh, killing each of them will get us a few points, so no harm in that. And uh, you can actually take these blocks out, no particular purpose in doing so, but never mind. Uh, okay, so we have a bunch of ogres roaming around here as well. And some breakable blocks here, one of which contains a key. The Coven Oven contains a dragon, so we are gonna... We're slightly limited in space here, so I'm just going to... Use a bolt on him to take him out quickly. Um, right, we can... Just make our way down to the bottom part here. So you can see there's a series of locked doors. Um, what we don't want to do is waste our key on one of the ones that contains a monster, or worse than nothing. Um, that would be counterproductive, it would get us stuck. Um, so we can see there is a portal down here. Um, that portal leads back to level 10, which would take us back to the crossroads, uh, which isn't really very productive. Um, it would seem that these these levels all just go back to the, the same place. However, as foretold by the, the prophecy in heaven, uh, the number 19 holds the way to go. Let's see if that maybe has some truth in it. Yes, level 19. We have found the tunnel to the 12th tomb. Those wishing to leave or live, please use the mirror below to return to your safe little lives. Wimpoids exit here. As you can see, that portal will take us back to level 1. If you somehow wish to go back to the start of the game, you can go that way. We, however, are not going to do that. We are going to take the tunnel to the 12th tomb. Uh, now, we can see this, this is the point where things do start to get a little bit crazy. Uh, so we have these guys, uh, they are going to be causing us multiple problems here. And as you can see we are now going through potions like crazy. So we want to be very, very careful here. Did I save the game when I came into this level? I'm just going to save again, just in case I didn't. I don't want to be backtracking too much. Uh, we need a key to get to the, the altar room. Oh, 
Whoa. Right, we're going to want to be very careful here because there are a lot of these big dudes roaming around this level. There is no escape. There is a dragon. Let's, let's not bother him. Um, <laughs> he's in a very enclosed space and it will not be easy to fight him there. Okay. Last Chance Tomb Saloon. Here's a key. That will get us into the altar. The altar room. The altar of evil. Now, you mentioned praying at the altar. If we go down here to where the word altar is, there is a little portal. This way to the twelfth tomb. I need to save the game. There we have a room full of enemies. Oh crap, they're getting out. That caused us some potions. <sighs> Die, unworthy one. The quest has failed. Well, that's not handy. There is a secret passage. Meaning that that entire encounter could have been avoided. Um, we would probably have saved some potions if we'd just gone straight this way. But no, I wanted to kill those guys. Um, we will now hopefully find our way to the twelfth tomb. after this very long, winding passageway reaches its conclusion. To 12. Entering level 12. The 12th tomb. We have made it to the 12th tomb. And I think at this point, this would probably be a good place to save the game. And I will call this the end of the video. Um, so we will pick up from here in the next part. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching so far. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like, leave us some feedback in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Thank you once again for watching and I'll catch you next time. See you later.